what is up it's your boy kate sif wins back with a walkthrough that i cannot wait to do if you watch my video i made a few days ago where i talked about how i got into the resident evil franchise and i'll leave the link in the description below definitely check that video out but if you watch that you understand why i love the resident evil franchise so much and Ultimately a game that got me into it. This game needs no introduction as it's a top three favorite game of mine as well as top three just greatest game I've ever played period which is Resident Evil 4. As I said this is going to be a walkthrough. Is this going to be a normal walkthrough? It's not so much to show you guys. I mean it can be if you wanted to but it's not so much to show you know you know, how efficiently to do everything. I just kind of want to play it again. Because as I said, I've probably beaten this game more times than any game I've ever played in my life. But, you know, I just want to play it and relive or try to ex explain to you guys a lot of my memories with this game as they happen while playing it. So it is not going to be some flawless gameplay by any means. But we'll do a normal... Um... Resident Evil 4. I love that. <laughs> it always gets me, but... Select a costume. I'm going to do normal as much as I want to do the one costume with the armored suit for you know who. Because they're going to be a pain in the you know what. I want this to be normal just so it feels you know more natural that I'm not getting it an aid or assistance. Even though I really don't want to. But if you've played the game that I'm talking about. If you haven't. You know, you'll understand real shortly, but, you know, we'll get to that bridge when we come to it. 1998. I'll never forget it. It was the year when those grisly murders occurred in the Arklay Mountains. Soon after, the news was out to the whole world, revealing that it was the fault of a secret viral experiment conducted by the international pharmaceutical enterprise, Umbrella. The virus broke out in a nearby mountain community, Raccoon City, and hit the peaceful little town with a devastating blow crippling its very foundation. Not taking any chances, the President of the United States ordered a contingency plan to sterilize Raccoon City. With the whole affair gone public, the United States government issued an indefinite suspension of business decree to Umbrella. Soon its stock prices crashed, and for all intents and purposes, Umbrella was finished. Six years have passed since that horrendous incident. Sorry, we're under the direct <laughs> control of the president. I was to assume the responsibility of protecting the new president's family. Leon! Why am I the one who always gets the short end of the stick? You. Who are you, really? Come on and tell us. You are a long way from home, cowboy. You have my sympathies. Guess that's a local's way of breaking the ice. Anyway, you know what this is all about. My assignment is to search for the president's missing daughter. What? All by yourself? <laughs> I'm sure you boys didn't just tag along so we could sing Kumbaya together at some Boy Scout bonfire. <laughs> but then again, maybe you did. <laughs> oh, you're crazy, American. It's a direct order from the chief himself. I tell you, it's no picnic. I'm counting on you guys. Of course, they're the most reliable people we got. They're gonna survive this whole mission. We're gonna have that kumbaya. It was right before I was to take on my duties of protecting the president's daughter when she was abducted. That's the ultimate reason I'm in this lonely and rural part of Europe. According to our intelligence, there's reliable information about a sighting of a girl that looks very similar to the president's daughter. 
apparently she's being withheld by some unidentified group of people. Who would have thought that my first job would have been a rescue mission? Ah, it's freezing. So cold all of a sudden. <laughs> ah, it must be my imagination. Sorry it took so long. Just up ahead is the village. I'll go and have a look around. Yeah, we'll stay and watch the car. Don't want to get any parking tickets. Right. Parking <laughs> tickets. Good luck. Jeez. Who are these guys? Huh. Did you say something? Leon, I hope you can hear me. I'm Ingrid Hunnigan. I'll be your support on this mission. Loud and clear. Somehow I thought you'd be a little older. So the subject's name's Ashley Graham, right? That's right. She's the daughter of the president. So try to behave yourself, okay? <laughs> Whoever this group is, they sure picked the wrong girl to kidnap. I'll try to find some more information on my end as well. Good. Talk to you later. Leon out. All right. <clears throat> Let's get into it. Huh. Forget your makeup or something? Oh, don't worry, bud. Don't worry. Talking shit. You gonna get it. Now oh, it's all coming back to me. I see your ass, Leon, you motherfucker. And if you know how the villagers work, my question is, why did he go back and just do his fire? You know, if you know how they work, they would just uh, attack on sight, but whatever. Uh, excuse me, sir. I was wondering if he might recognize a girl in this photograph. ¿Qué carajo estás haciendo aquí? Lárgate, cabrón! Sorry to have bothered. As a kid, that just scared me that I couldn't understand what they were saying. <laughs> like... <laughs> Uh-oh. Freeze! I said freeze! He ain't freezing. Play on kick! And you want to master that combo right there. Oh, wait. Uh -huh. Shit. That went south real quick. Is everything okay? There was a hostile local. I had no choice but to neutralize him. There are still others surrounding the area. Get out of there and head toward the village. Take whatever measures necessary to save the subject. Understood. Oh, yes, no! <laughs> oh man. Ew. Once again, I love the love the music. But as I was saying earlier, you want to master that combination. You know, if um, you can jump out the window. Look at him. He's just waiting. But you want to master the combination. You know, it conserves ammo. So. 
Nope. Can... They can throw their weapons too, but not at all that music is not playing. You want to master the whole hit them in the leg and then do the kick and then work out that time. But yeah, but then again, I, I am trying to get back in a mix of things. But you want to master that stuff just so you can serve ammo because. The ammo you can serve is just going to be invaluable in the future. Now here's something. Don't worry, I'm coming. I don't like to see animals get hurt. I love animals. And the currency I'm picking up here is pitas. You're going to need them to buy upgrades and whatnot. And that's what makes me... Um, well, you explore a lot of areas in this game. Probably love the game. Just get all these pitas and other things you can sell that get money. Because you'll see what I use for the money for. Let me get one here. Let me get the options real quick because... Yeah, they don't have... um. I wish I had like a sound option, but yeah, I'm just not. And yeah, this is your um, your suitcase. I love this thing. <laughs> You'll hear me talk about how much I love with this suitcase. And here's your files. And Where's going, Ashley. Ashley Graham, age 20, daughter of the United States president, and secretly she's a bitch. <laughs> She was kidnapped by an unidentified group while on her way home from her university. The kidnapper's motives are still unknown, although there's reliable information that the perpetrator is an insider. Only a handful of people know about this kidnapping. It's been kept under wraps mostly due to the fact that we cannot determine who the traitor is. The guys in the intelligence say they have reliable information that Ash has been cited somewhere in Europe. But until we find out who the insider is, I don't know what to believe. It could be a ploy. We have very few leads as to whereabouts of Ashley, but members of Secret Service and anyone else related to Ashley are being questioned by an investigating team. Even active agents are being investigated for any information. It's just a matter of time before the kidnapper is exposed. Yeah, we're gonna get his ass. We're gonna find you, homeboy. Let's get let's get my puppy doggy. Hey puppy doggy. And you wanna do this regard and I mean, uh, he's not gonna help a dog for goodness sakes, but like um but you want to do that because it'll help you later on. Now you see these things on the ground? that These traps? You know, you want to be careful because they will hurt you. But you can disarm them if you get close enough and you knife them. And that's another thing about this game. There will be a lot of traps. Like you see these traps right here? Bomb wires. I'm going to try to experiment. Let me shoot this guy over here. Oh, damn, he didn't even... Damn, he said, nope, I ain't moving. Oh, now he wants to move. Oh, now you want to move. That's fine. Un forastero! Un forastero! Oh, he almost went to the other one. Bam, bitch. Yeah. He also dropped Peters too, but yeah, you wanna 
save and conserve your ammunition as much as possible. You're going to need it. I know one thing a lot of people like to say is, oh, this game's too extra. You got so much ammunition. Well, I'll tell you what. You're going to need all the ammunition because all these motherfuckers, you're not having like, you got, they don't account for the fact that you got like 20 plus people on the screen sometimes and bam. Oh, shit. Guess there's no sex discrimination here. I guess not. This bill says, hey, equal rights for everybody. We don't care who you are. You'll get an equal ass whooping. <laughs> Look at these guys up here. They just walk away. Oh, damn. Chill, homie. Oh, you thought I didn't see you. Come on. There's a cool move he can do, but you gotta get him, like, in a perfect spot to do it. But... And now we're about to get to the part that just forever changed me in gaming. This next part here. I remember the first time I played this next part. Oh my god, I was so terrified by first off radio income. Leon, how you holding up? Bad question, Hunnigan. Sorry to hear that. I'm sending you a playing manual. Hope you find it useful. I'll take a look at it, thanks. <laughs> You see that guy's face? He's like, damn. <laughs> but this part right here forever changed me. Oh my god. It, it, it's just like. How do you not like play this sequence and not be on edge and be so intense? And remember that guy earlier? Yeah, he, he's barbecue. Now, I don't know how they got him all the way over here that quick. That's impressive, but. Whatever. These villagers, man. They have a good old time. But this area forever, this whole part just changed me forever. Now, I don't have a lot of ammunition. Actually, no, I got 34 number. Which will go away quick. But just the tension of this moment right here. But I'm going to try to relive how I relived it. I just start shooting these people. Well, I'm not gonna shoot them this time. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run in here, which is good and bad, as you'll see why. I'm like, oh, I'm safe, I'm safe, but well, here comes another f very famous Resident Evil enemy about to come out. <laughs> Bag lunch. Bag lunch coming in. Oh, they busting up top. Oh my god. It's all coming back to me. And you can push these things here. They don't stay forever. But. I will take this shotgun. Shit, he hit me hard. I'm not gonna lie, your boy might be done. But we're not gonna panic. Most important thing is to not panic. The second you panic, it's over. I wanna get right here. I definitely want to take him out for this whole sequence um, ends because um, you'll see why these chainsaw maniacs like it's a risk. 
Oh my god, that did not end the way I wanted it to. But always have an escape plan. Yeah, that's the most important thing. Always get out. And do not let that motherfucker get too close. Oh damn. That works out. Now, I don't know if this is timed or what. Or it's just you have to defeat a certain amount of enemies. You know, leave a comment if you 100% know, but... Come on, man. Get off me. Oh, shit. Oh. No! Oh, shit. I'll admit, that was lucky. <laughs> Your boy needs help, please. Was waiting for. I was like, damn, is they gonna get a stagger? I just realized that I didn't pick up the um. Oh, that's a fail on my part. You boys out of ammo! <laughs> Somebody help me, please! Yeah, over time they play the bell. I'm so mad about that doc. That's where the chainsaw guy's real name is, Doctor Salvador. He drops like 10,000 pitas. I forgot all about that. Things disappear over time. That, that actually made me mad. But oh well. I said this wouldn't be a flawless gameplay by any means. As you can definitely tell from that. But. Hey, where everyone go? Where's Bingo? Everyone going? Bingo? Oh, man. I remember... My first time doing that, man. Oh, my God. Honigan, I have some bad news. I've confirmed the body of an officer. Something's happened to the people here. Leon, you need to get out of there. Look for a tower and follow the trail near it. Got it. But, um, well, basically, that chainsaw made a little fun story. I was in this room here when he came up, I was on the roof. And if he hits you, it's a one shot. Okay, you're dead. He'll chainsaw your head right off. And, um, basically, my head came off and like got stuck in a gutter and was just rolling down the gutter and shit. But, uh, man, so many good memories. But, Ew. 
Now you can either open a door like slowly or you can kick it open. And you got three types of grenades. You got flash grenades, it um, blinds them. You got the incinerary grenades, and you got the hand grenades, which I used earlier. That's like, there's just a cow here. Hey, look at that cow, man. He's got like, stuff coming out of his mouth. He hooked me up with some, I don't know, Chick fil A. I'll be much appreciated. There's a flash. As I said, you always want to explore all the areas and see what you can find because as I said, I'm kind of still mad about that. Not getting that pitas from that chainsaw man. Oh, by the way, if if you're curious why I called him Bag Lunch, I used to have a poster um, of Resident Evil 4 in my room and he has a bag over his head. My dad saw it and he just called him Bag Lunch. So every time I say chainsaw, if you hear me call him Bag Lunch, you know why. But his official name is Dr. Salvador, but... Oh. Now here, you could either shoot the lock off, or... But, you know, I want to serve the ammo, because I went through a lot in that whole thing. I think you can hold one more. You also destroy this door, you know, if you shoot it, so. Just a note. I learned all the recently there has been information that a United States government agent is here investigating the village. Do not let the American agent get in contact with the prisoner. For those of you who are not informed, the prisoner is being held in the old house beyond the farm. Yeah, well, let's just have our information out in the open so they can read it, but whatever. We will transfer the prisoner to a more secure location in the valley when we are ready. The prisoner is to stay there until further notice. Meanwhile, do not let the American agent near the prisoner. We do not know how the American government found out about our village, but we are investigating. However, I feel this intrusion at a particular time is not just a coincidence. I sent a third party of the United States government involved here. My fellow men, stay alive. Chief Vitorias Menendez. A.K.A. the Big Cheese. You'll see him real soon. Alright, further ado, let's keep going. Let's see if here real quick. Just to make sure. And drug me, I'll be saving a lot. <laughs> hey, there's no ink ribbons in this game, so I don't worry about that shit. Not that I hate anyone, I have nothing against them, but hey, take advantage of what you can give him. I will take this egg, though. What's up, homies? Damn, man, he just booked it at me.
Come on, guys. You gotta be dropping some pitas for me. I need all the help I can get. So, Cal. I will use one of these eggs. What's up, puppy doggy? He gets stuck in the thing. This is an area where he helps you out with, but. Ew. Oh. Alright, this thing right here, this is your first treasure encounter, but shoot this thing first before you shoot it down. Or can I knife it down? Can I reach? Nah, I can't reach that far. The reason why you shot it down, because if you put it in the water, you can still get it up, but it'll be dirty and it won't sell you as much as if it's like clean so a little thumbs up there now i know you're wondering whether these blue things these are there's 15 blue medallions um if you shoot at least what is it if you destroy at least 10 you'll get rewarded with like a a better handgun than the one i got here now and when we get to that point i'll show it to you and the guy who sells it to you who's a very interesting fellow by the way um you know and they'll tell you what it is you guys I think seven or eight here and, and the other rest of them are in the courtyard but um damn he was ready to go he had that farmer brown stance on hey y'all come on come on get your ass over here let's go I'm raiding this farm, bitch. Ain't nothing you can do about it. You better just go home. Oh, wait. This is your home. <laughs> it's home invasion, bitch. Oh, man. These... These guys are being cheap today. Now, where's this other one? Where are you? What is this guy? I heard your ass. Be like right in a corner or something. And if you ever already figured this out, if you combine, you know, herbs together, they give a better effect. But if you get them all three, it actually increases your health. That's how you. You make your health bigger in this game. So it goes around the whole wheel. Definitely find these. You can get a bunch of them they can sell. This guy up here. That was not nice. What the hell? Come on, we'll try. Let me try that. Let me try that bootleg cheese, man. Come on. He trying to jump between the the thing, and he ain't even decent enough to give me like something for that. Come on. This will come in handy later. This is a treasure that has multiple parts to it. If you find it, you can combine and get more of a, um, a value for selling it. So, you gotta be on the lookout for that. Before we leave this area, oh, let me get up here again, so. some of these things and
I'm gonna get at least five. Um. These um dying for move forward. There's one over there. One's up here, on the other side. Yep. So, no big deal. The church area will give me the rest of them, and let us proceed forward. I'm just having a good day walking around. Nothing bag it. Oh shit! Oh shit! Leon, run, Leon, run! Says my fingers for that. I think I'm confusing another playthrough of game. So, yeah, I'm not, I'm not even gonna mess with those get boys. Not that they did, I think I did. They shine him down. But yeah, I just love those villagers, man. Just maybe saying all this stuff, they can be communicating. Oh man, now I'll, I'll be the first one to admit I messed this part up so bad. I'm so trash at this next part, but see what's in that guy's hand. Yeah, he's gonna start chunking that shit. And they got a range and that dynamite hurts. But if you're able to hit the dynamite, you can have that effect. And you see the other dude in there? how much of a range they got on that. It's nuts. That works out too. Messed up. I was trying to get a pita, but Why has that thing not exploded yet? That's what I want to know. Oh man, that guy got cheesed on that a little bit. Oh, 
Okay. Oh. I thought that was game over. Shit earlier. He did that. Tim the Toolman Aver cheese. <laughs> Lobbing that over this wall. For these nests, they they drop a lot of these. Um, oh, I don't know if this is what combines, and I could be wrong, but yeah, this is one of the parts that combines in that treasure. I need two more. One be a green and yellow, but you combine these parts together, and you can um, get a better sell value for it. All right, I'm coming. Damn, I hate this guy banging in here. See, good lord, <laughs> your boy's getting bodied up. I'm gonna be careful here because they got a few traps. Go say, Mr. Luis. Ah, a little rough, don't you think? You're not like them? No. You? Okay. I have only one very important question. You got a smoke? Got gum. Oh shit. Perfect. The big cheese. The big cheese. What? That's a big bitch. <laughs> Fuck your kick, bitch. <laughs> And that's the end of uh, chapter one and two. And then it's going to be the end of my first um, part of my walkthrough. I guess I'll try to do it in chapters. You know, some chapters might take longer than, than others. But, um, you know, let me know what you guys think. Um, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, comment, and I'll get back to you with the next chapter as soon as possible. Thank you.